It's been reported within the last 24 hours that 101 people has been arrested, 279 million in drugs was seized, and the operation called Sweet Silent. Oh, it's over! Now, before we go over what they mentioned in that indictment, which is still early, I want to point out a hood vlog that was shot by Miko Worldwide two and a half years ago, which so happens, according oh, to that's the same. which was Ooh. released by the feds, this gang has been under surveillance since two Past and a half years. Past two years. They probably went under surveillance because of the hood vlogs. Why do y'all think the... It's like... It's like niggas get on the internet and they forget that the police can get on this too. Did you forget that the police can go on? Just because they're the police don't mean they can't go on YouTube.com, gang. These exotic boys, smoke exotic out. You ain't heard about murder boys, we got exotic locks. Tied to pull up real fast, with a lot of shots. Bitch, I'm feeling just like Mac, I got a lot of guap. What up, Wula Gay? They say a bunch of Atlanta rappers just got arrested because of a hood vlog. I'm telling y'all, gay, I don't know what's wrong with y'all. Y'all keep getting on the internet talking and talking and talking. Shorty, you're going to get locked up, folks. What's wrong with you? And it's probably best. On this video, we start exposing how doing these hood vlogs can not only put you in harm's way, but it can get you arrested and Hell dying yeah. and even having your quote-unquote ops know your exact location. Right. And it's been reported within the last 24 hours that 101 people has been arrested, 279 million in drugs was seized, and the operation called Sweet Silent. Oh, it's over. $279 million worth of drugs, folks? Y'all tweaking and geeking, gang. I ain't gonna lie, it's OVA. Listen, I have a mentorship called the Moolah Membership where I'm going to teach you how to get rich with business, YouTube, crypto, stocks, financial literacy credit every single way now i became a millionaire by the time i was 23 years old i'm going to teach you step by step for only 50 dollars click the first link in the description right now and get added to my group chat where i'm going to give you one-on-one -on -one help to make sure you get rich in 2024 click it right now stop tweaking because we got very 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 limited spots and i don't want you to miss this bag dangerous gangs and drug cartels from operating in Columbus area, which is located in Georgia, almost two hours away from Atlanta, Georgia. Uh. Now, this indictment had made national headlines after being rumored that one of the 100 plus people that was arrested was a rapper known out of Atlanta, Georgia, Pee Wee Longway. I think it's appropriate to start out this video by talking about a rapper from Zone 3 in Atlanta, Georgia. Zone a rapper three. who's been rapping for 10 plus years and still relevant to this day. Pee -wee. Quincy Lamont Williams, AKA Pee Wee Longway. Way. Some would say the Zone 3 native from Atlanta, Georgia, is a legend in their eyes. Right. Been rapping a decade plus, as we mentioned. Right. Having hits with even the Migos 10 years ago and tracks Crazy. like Came In. Came In. Came in. Big, 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 get guap, dope boys in the trap. Nigga, that side nigga came in. Oh. Okay. Do, do, bring it, bring it. Having tracks. Two Spike and Rocket. <laughs> young Doll, just to name a few. Recently dropping a track titled Who Am I? The one out of two, no none of you niggas compare to me. My chat, I feel it with sprinkling my low low Zion, they chopping on LE. <laughs> to his rapping ability, you can see nothing but growth in Pee Wee Longway. Right. I'm not sure if it's true or not. You'll later see how Pee Wee Longway came up with his name. Now, Pee Wee Longway music label is MPA. Allegedly stands for Money, Power, and Munition. Pee Wee Longway is a very smart man. He's been having run-ins with the law dating back in 2014 in Alabama, being caught with the illegal firearm. But oh, okay. for the most part, he kept his nose clean, at right. least to the public. He also right. had his own strain of Murray Jane. Blue M and M sprinkles. Okay. And Columbus, Georgia, Zahona game stands for ZHG. They have a rapper named Baby Fox that's signed to Offset. He's apparently mm. arrested. A person who shouted him out was a guy allegedly a part of that same game that liked the picture by Pee Wee Longway. And right. I found that interesting because that was the same game alongside Crips that was mentioned in the indictment with over 100 people recently arrested alongside Pee Wee Longway by the feds. 100 people uh, is crazy. Shout you out on his song. I wish 100 I people is absolutely nuts. God. Dang. Now, before we go over what they mentioned in that indictment, which is still early, I want to point out a hood vlog that was shot by Miko Worldwide two and a half years ago, which so happens, according oh, that's to the same. which was Ooh. released by the feds, this gang has been under surveillance since two Past and a half two years. years. They probably went under surveillance because of the hood vlogs. Why do y'all think the... It's like... It's like niggas get on the internet and they forget that the police can get on this too. Did you forget that the police can go on? Just because they the police don't mean they can't go on YouTube.com, gang. What's wrong with y'all? Years ago, 
The title of this video on Miko Worldwide page was titled Raw Streets of South Georgia. Zahona Global Hood Vlogs. Now fam, I'm gonna play a clip. I don't wanna ruin the video if you guys wanna check it out. But check out some key Got moments. One point we in South million. Georgia. Hey, I'm with some real ones. They're gonna tell you where we at and a little bit about what it's like down here. All right, hey, who we here we with? We in Columbia, Georgia. This ZAG Solid. Yeah, man, AKA Baby Fuck. Yeah, yeah man, the not baby is... fox, baby fox. That's just how they talk for their country. So man, we're in Columbia, Georgia, the real trenches, man, the real hood, man. Yeah, you know yeah. how it's getting. Yeah, nigga, fuck fifty four to K, nigga. Big you, fuck, you nigga. checking in with the biggest ox in the city, man. Yeah, nigga. No, the biggest artist in the city. Yeah, JG, man. hop out, man. Go follow me on Instagram, man. Hell yeah. 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 Big Tick says Solomon or Fuck, man. Hell yeah, yeah, man. Big Globe is on hand in your north, man. You know what I'm saying? Globe's got a pink shit pop shit. Hell yeah, we're with. Poop, NG Poop, man. All yeah, that, with all that. Yeah, y'all know how we come in with. None of that. None of that. We're going to have it. How did that feel to that song? Yeah, yeah. Where the fuck are these niggas going? Fuck this shit, bro. Fam, y'all smart. Y'all come with y'all own conclusion and what y'all feel about that video. Now, to give you a rundown on Zahona Globe or ZHG, it's a homegrown game that some say was founded from someone from Florida. It was formed in mm. Columbus, Georgia. They mm. mainly rock pink and blue and have ties with the GDs. Mm. Originally, they formed in the mid 2010s by a GD member named Mad Max. As soon as ZHG was formed, they quickly became one of the most active groups in Columbus. Like most gangs, they would quickly come into conflict with other groups. But the biggest beefs would be the US world or us world and Marlo. Now you know what Crips mean. So now we got that and who's the Hona gang that's mentioned in this indictment. Fam, let's talk about it. Over 270 million worth of drugs were seized in the operation that spanned from Columbus, Georgia to California. 270 mil, I'm not getting over that number which led to 101 people being arrested. Ooh. The investigation included nearly a dozen state federal agencies. It spanned several states and resulted in 31 arrests in Columbus and Alabama on Thursday. Of the 31 individuals arrested, 19 were arrested on federal charges and 12 were taken into custody on state charges, indicating these individuals are alleged members of the Zahona Gang and the Crips Gang. And as mentioned, the FBI had mentioned they have been conducting an investigation over the past two years. Operation Sweet Side the FBI? Oh. had 126 search warrants. Law enforcement seized 155 firearms and over $273,000 in cash. And as mentioned, they seized over $100 million in street value or for drugs. Millions of dollars worth of drugs God. and guns, God. clock switches, and other items taken off the clock street. switches? Thanks to a special oh, detail that culminated Thursday in Muskogee Ooh. County. Law enforcement call it Operation Sweet Silence, which was a two and a half years in the making, aimed at taking down gang members and cutting crime. News at Nine's Catrice Nolan joins us live in our newsroom tonight. Out of 101 people, how many people y'all think gonna snitch? I can tell you. 99 of them. <laughs> 99 of them. Do you hear me? 99 of them, folks. Or oh, bro. On this takedown. And Catrice, we understand multiple local, state, and federal agencies involved in this operation. That's right, several agencies involved. And this is the number, over $279 million in street value of what they seized. And the FBI, the GBI, the DEA, yeah. and others all worked together for Operation Sweet Silence. Now, the sheriff says, although they took more than two and a half years moving in silence, the right. takedown was seen and heard across the Chattahoochee Valley. These are the mugshot and faces of some of the people just arrested in the Columbus area through well, what they crying. are calling <laughs> Sweet Silence. The multi-agency takedown has been planned for more than two years. Ooh, you know he did County it. Sheriff's <laughs> says it took overtime hours to put that many people behind bars. Woo! The Muscogee County Sheriff's Office has worked in lockstep with the FBI and the DEA to go after some very dangerous gang members members of the Zohanan gang, members of the Crips. District Attorney Don Kelly telling us that gang activity has led to high homicide rates in Muskogee County. We've seen the homicide rate more than double Damn. because of gangs. And we are going to continue 
to target gangs. 19 of the suspects facing federal charges. 12 yeah, of those cases sounded being real good, and then somebody else gets smoked the next day, and then y'all like it was gang related. But I thought y'all was locking them all up. Like you can't do that. Y'all need to change other shit. Pe locking more people up is not going to help nothing, gang. It's other stuff that needs to change before they get to that point. Because all it's gonna do, if you don't change the other, sh it's just gonna be another gang banger. Wake up every single day, every other day is gonna be a new gang banger, new person turning sixteen, new person moving over here, new person doing this, new person hop off the porch, whatever. Like. Executed locally. The drugs and other illegal weapons seized in this operations have a street value of $279 million, something the U.S. Attorney's Office says was a large amount for this area. This was a major a operation, amount, period, um, one of the largest, I think, in Columbus history, and it was, the, the, the point is to really target uh, folks who are doing the most damage in the community. Spilling the drugs and crime into other areas like Harris and Russell counties. When it affects one person we know these criminals don't stop at the county line and law enforcement is not silent about their warning for criminals it's a very unfortunate situation for everybody involved over a hundred people you can only imagine the amount of people who cooperate like hell they say, yeah out of every four it's gonna be at least two y'all let me know how exactly. you guys feel about this one it's more developed i keep you guys updated especially out of 101 people it's gonna be a snitching contest who can snitch first on phone on gray i'm gonna snitch on him before he snitch on me <laughs> story of an Atlanta, Georgia rapper who's been arrested with over a hundred people after they alleged gang that he associated with allegedly did a hood vlog with over a million views, brandishing firearms, broadcasting where they hang their opposition and why they got ops. Talk to me in the comments. Broadcasting like why they got ops, where they hang, who they ops is, like eat all that stupid. You're not supposed to have no information like that outside of your hood if you really in the streets like that because you're going to get locked up, shorty. You're giving the feds more info, huge pop. slow man. I hate to say this, but this not the first. And I need both of my hands, as far as I can remember, of gangs indicted after doing such video. Talk yeah. to me in the comments. They don't keep doing it because they slow. Until then, I